it back and during the Victorian era they substituted virtues and vices such as modesty and decency. So when Queen Victoria died, there was such a rebellion against her strictures of how to live that the game lost its moral overtones and came back to the world as snakes and ladders. And almost every child across the world has played this game, has cried when they've come down the larger snake, has groaned, has been thrilled about going up a ladder. And the very words which we say in English, back to square one, comes from this game. And sadly, we have forgotten its very origins. And if we are to teach mathematics, what better game to start with? We play, we recognize our numbers, we throw our dice, we count the dots on our dice, we add two dice together, we add it to the space where we are, and we count. How, what a beautiful way to introduce children to mathematics and arithmetic and numbers. And we have the added advantage of having the traditional version where we can tell them stories as we play. This is perhaps one of the most popular games I've ever used. And uh, I remember some time ago, we had a bunch of young children in a school. I think it was standard three, uh, standard one to three, playing this game. And we had invited a number of grandparents to come and play them in groups and tell the stories. And we had this one little boy who kept running from group to group. So I asked him, why are you moving from group to group? Isn't it the same game? And his answer, yes, but each grandpa and grandpa is telling the story differently. I want to hear all the stories. And that is the power of games. For every one of us, I've done this event with adults and children and they smile. We were talking and 